relationship been so good. On behalf of all of your staff, we thank you and we welcome you to Embassy Rabat. Let's give the President a warm Moroccan welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. First, thank you for your warm. I thank Secretary Christopher and Secretary Baker for dropping everything at a moment's notice to make this trip to manifest uh, their respect for King Hassan and the friendship between the United States and Morocco. I'd like to say a special word of thank. I'd like to thank uh, all the people from the State Department and the National Security Council, uh, represented by Mr. Berger up here, for putting this trip together in a hurry. And Ambassador Gabriel, thank you, and Kathleen, and the other members of our embassy community for making us so welcome. I'd also like to say uh, that the First Lady is successful, and Chelsea is here, and uh, Hillary's mother is here, who is you. I'm sure you know has been here at least twice, maybe more, since I've been here. I think she's thinking of moving to Morocco. That among the throngs, the millions of his fellow citizens who came out to honor his passing today were leaders from every part of the world, from every political and religious background, united in their justice to him. Because when we think of a survivor, we think about someone who is very clever, all right, but just, just enough to escape the slings and arrows that fortune places in our path. Just enough to survive. And His Majesty King Hassan did more than that. He showed it is possible to be commander of the faithful and a champion of tolerance and a bridge between faiths. He showed it is possible to represent continuity and stability and to build the society that is more and more democratic and open, open to competing ideas and other people. King Hassan believed that there is no inevitable clash of civilizations, but instead a clash between those brave. Also, shortly after I learned that his father had passed away, I have confidence in him. We spoke about the challenges ahead. We spoke about my family's gratitude for all the trips that extended to them. King Hassan made her feel not only at home, but a part of his family. And I told King Mohammed that now we would be proud to have him feel a part of.